It needs to sit just a little while longer. But this is the goodness. This is the goodness. Mama, we so hungry. What we gonna do? Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how I make my smashed potato poncho. These are the ingredients that you would need in order to make it. Let's get going. You'll need red. You don't necessarily have to use red if you don't like them, but I use red Idaho potatoes. I've already rinsed them. When you rinse them off real good, you will lose some of the red off of the skin. I like the texture and how they feel. I got my onions from Ingles already diced up. There's a lot of time that you can actually keep if you go ahead and let someone else do a little bit of the prep work for you. You'll need ranch. I don't like generic with this so I use Hidden Valley Ranch it's a must-have for this recipe I have three pounds of uh, ground beef you may not need this much it depends on how many people you are preparing for I use Monterey Jack I went to Walmart today I use Colby mozzarella and and I use shredded Velveeta I also use the diced tomatoes sour cream, ragu, make sure you get the chunky garden combination style. And it really doesn't matter. I did this so you could see. I use either or. This is Great Values brand of taco seasoning and this is McCormick's. It really doesn't matter. That's up to you. You can substitute and make this be a cheap an easy but delicious comforting meal for your family. I've already took the Velveeta and the 8 ounces of cream cheese. It doesn't matter if it's Philadelphia brand, if it's Walmart brand, that's up to you and your wallet. But this is about 2 cups with each one of them. One is 8 ounces and the other is about a cup and a half of Velveeta. And these are the ingredients that we need and we're about to get started with this recipe. It is called a smashed potato poncho. I begin off by boiling my potatoes first and they will go in the oven. I will use a garlic, pepper, and salt with butter over them before they go in the pet in, into the um, oven. I also will use onions and the ground beef with salt and pepper. When I put it all together, it'll go in the oven and it's delicious. We love it. The outcome is great. You'll see the end results. And I'll come back and show you the beginning stages of what we do. Okay, let's get started. We have the ground beef in it. Cast iron skillet. And I've added onion. I'm going to add salt. And I'm going to add pepper. And let this be to your liking. I don't want to overdo it and add too much salt because some of the other ingredients have a whole lot of salt in it, like the taco seasoning. So that is actually enough salt. Over in another boiler, I have the potatoes going and I'm going to salt these potatoes really good. And the reason why I use so much salt is because I need these to penetrate through the skin of the potato. Well, we have gotten started. Go ahead and set your oven on 350 so that it can start to um, do what it needs to do before we go in. Um, depending on what kind of oven and what style of oven, or if you're cooking with a conventional oven or what have you, your timing will change. 
pretty much everything is ready. So it won't take that long in the oven, no more than 45 minutes. And the ground beef is smoking. So uh, let's get started and we're gonna keep working toward doing what we have to do. These are our steps right now. The next step I'm gonna show you is smashing the potatoes. If you have a little small boiler that you have at home, clean and nice, that you don't use too often. I use this, you can use whatever you want to use. But we're gonna smash these potatoes and we're gonna put them in the oven with a little garlic and we're gonna add the um, taco packets to the ground beef. So here we go, let's smash it a bit, shall we? You just simply take it and you smash your potato. You smash it, you smash it, you smash it, there we go. That's it. Get that goodness, let it bust open. Good, y'all. And then we're going to add our seasonings. We're going to add the seasonings that I use. And then on top of it, after it comes out the oven with the garlic butter, we're going to add the ground beef with the taco seasoning in it. Now, I want you to know I went ahead and I did my Velveeta, hope y'all can see that, and cream cheese. And I went home and added sour cream and I made that mixture together and I set it to the side. So next steps will be the garlic butter in the oven a few minutes, about 15 minutes, just to get it a little crunchy. And then we're gonna start preparing it and putting it together. See you shortly. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes and the potatoes are out the oven. We're getting ready to assemble and put this together. It's gonna to be good. The potatoes came out great. They're golden and they are smashed and they have their own form now. They have a nice crust on the bottom. And over here, we've already put the taco seasoning in. We're getting ready to put the cream cheese, sour cream, and Velveeta on top. We're gonna spread it evenly. Y'all, this is fattening, but it's good. You're gonna spread it evenly, just like that. And this can sit in a refrigerator, so if you don't use it all, and you have a whole lot left, can always refrigerate it. Hold on, you guys. And next, Potatoes. I'm sorry, did I say to tomatoes? These are garlic, basil, and oregano. It's gonna go real good. I hope you all can see this. I'm trying my best with my phone and I'm getting there. From that stage, I like to add a little of my ragu. just to balance out the flavor. You notice I'm not adding any more salt and pepper. And then from there, I start to assemble my smashed poncho. And I'm gonna put all this goodness on here. And when I tell you it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. So I'll add a little ground beef 
you guys can see it. I'm not important. I just want you to see what I'm doing. And I hope you can see it. I promise you, as I learn my new Note 10 Plus, I'll get better with it and I'll be able to handle it a little bit better. Then I'm going to add a little ranch. You remember I told you about the ranch? Oh, Lord. Yes, sir. And sometimes, depending on my mood, I will double stack this like a lasagna. Your kids will say, Mama, fix that again. And this was a bitty, pretty big saucepan. This was a 13, 13 by 9. I, get, I didn't look at the bottom before. But it's a pretty big size one. Sometimes I do it in my skillet. But I made quite a bit today. So, that's how that goes. Now we'll start adding our cheese. And if you're on a diet, don't do this. Don't do it to yourself. But if you go vegan or vegetarian, which I do do the 21 day, and my desire is to do it again. And to come off of meat, hopefully, I'm going to come off for the rest of my life. And then eventually turn into a vegetarian. I mean, a, a vegan. One more set. Say, Lord, have mercy. Now this is getting ready to go in the oven. It's already preheated. It's already been on. The potatoes went in at once. And I've got it set for 350. And this is going in for about 30. I have a I have a um convectioner oven. So it cooks a little faster. So because it has all around heat. But anywhere from 30. To 45 minutes. It just depends on how well the cheese, it gets to bubbling, it gets to moving. The next time you see me, I'll be bringing it out the oven. I'll be slicing it, showing you what it looks like, and I'll take a picture and put it on Facebook. I'll see you in just a few minutes between 30 and 45 minutes. Hey, y'all. I'm excited about this. This is the finished product. It turned out great. We're going to cut into it. And we're going to look at it and see how good it turned out. What do you think? You can see the layers in it. Let me get my spoon. And y'all, I love these bowls I have. They have writing inside them. They have scriptures. It says, grateful for the grace. It says, grateful for the simple blessings. And then it says, grateful for the goodness. I think that's just a cute bowl. And then it is scriptures. So we're going to go in and cut in here and let you see the outcome. Okay? It needs to sit just a little while longer. But this is the goodness. This is the goodness. I hope you could follow me and I hope you enjoyed this. And if you want to see more, let me know. My phone is slanted. 
but I'm working on all that. Enjoy your meal, enjoy your family, and enjoy life. In Jesus' name, bye.